Okay, so we're going to work with ad the advanced question now. In the advanced question, we are determining how a boy's age or the age group they fall into may influence the distance in meters that they walk in six minutes. With this problem, we are given a table with three columns. The first column is telling us the age group intervals that each of the falling will fall into. Uh, the second column is showing us the re representative age groups. And then the final column is showing us the median six minute walk distance in accordance to the representative age. So part A wants us to determine the least squares regression line and interpret the meaning of its slope. So here I wrote down the equation for the least square regression line. It's y equals a plus bx. And these are the factors that make up a and b, b being the slope but we aren't giving, given enough information or nor do we have enough time to figure that out by hand. So we're gonna do it with the calculator. So here my calculator, we're gonna start with stat edit and type in this information. And I already have it typed into list four and list five. List four is the representative age group the representative age column, and then list five is the median six minute walk distance in meters. So after we have this, we're just gonna go to stat calc, and then we're gonna go down to eight, which is the linear regression line. As you can see, it's the same equation as the one I showed you before. So we're gonna click that, make sure that your X list is in line with the list that you put it in, which mine was this. So that's correct, correct. Calculate, and then it gives us this. So here's your equation for the least squared regression line, and here's the A and B that build that equation. So I'm gonna take this away. And so this is what we get. This is our least square regression line. We have, y equals 492.7977 plus 14.7633 times x. y is going to equal the median six minute walk distance in meters and x is going to re be the representative age. So after we find the least square regression line, they want us to interpret the meaning of the slope. So the slope was b which in this equation was 14.7633. So the slope of the least square regression line essentially tells us that each year, a boy can walk approximately 4.7633 meters than the last year. So now for part B, it wants us to compute the residuals and construct a residual plot. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to exit out of this, go back to our list. I already have my residuals in here and my list set um, six. If you don't know how to do that, you would click on list six and then I'll clear it out just to show you. Click on it and then we're going to do second list, go down to residuals and then they're all there. So it wants us, so we have our residuals in here now. It wants us to construct a residual plot. So you can do this on the calculator or by hand. If you want to do it by calculator, uh, your X list needs to be list four, Y list, list six. List six is where I had my residuals at. We're going to graph that. And here is our residual graph on the calculator. Um, I also did it by hand. Here it is. So the x axis here is the same as before. It represents the representative ages of the boys. And then your y axis is going to be your residual points. And residuals are essentially the um, observed minus the predicted values. So five points here. Next, it asks, determine if there are any unusual features in the residual plot as well as their meaning. 
what does it mean if there are no unusual features so i decided that i believe this point and this point are considerably unusual and those are those two points um i believe they are unusual because they are further off the x-axis than the other points what this unusual is usualness essentially means is that the least square regression line does not predict these observed values quite as well as the other points so in the case for the um normal points that aren't considered unusual i wrote this little statement here in a case where these are where there are no unusual features, the least square regression line would be an appropriate and accurate representation of the observed data. And that wraps it up.